Hey guys, so I was just reading this, I think this is public, Deep Straz tagged me and he's like asking for help and he's saying, oh, there's all these XXX files and we're trying to open Project Revolution. I actually tried to open Project Revolution just the other day with my technology. I didn't think that that was remotely relevant to anything anyone else was doing. Um, but yeah, so as far as how to open Project Revolution, you can see here I have the unit browser with human work on Dead Night Elf. Uh, I can just go to Windows Preferences and go into Warcraft Data. And you can see here we've loaded Cask uh, with the mods of the War 3 mod, the Deprecated mod, and, and the uh, English United States mod. And I can just click Add MPQ on top of this Cask and then go to Program Files, uh, Project Revolution, PRSC mod, Revolution MPQ, and Sound MPQ. And if I push OK on that, um, having done so, you can see immediately my unit browser changes over to the Terran, the Zerg, and the Protoss. And once you do that, you can load any of the units for any Terran, Zerg, Protoss, right? Be it, uh, you know, like your Goliath, uh, Firebat. Uh, I do have, I'm still doing a work in progress on some particle previews. So, I mean, the particles look good in, in their respective animation, but sometimes they spawn at the wrong time. Uh, but, I mean, generally, right, like, all these guys are loading. They're all looking pretty good. Uh, and, you know, we have, like, the Siege Tank, including animations and all that, right? And you have, like, the Zerg. Uh, you know, they have like their shifty little animations or whatever. Uh, you know, we've got that and like all of it's here and it works. We even have like, I was showing somebody how cool it was that we have like uh, the Archons in here, right? You have like Dark Archon and like, you could literally just save this as MDX and you would have it. Except of course you also need the textures and to do that you just pop the textures menu and then you scroll through uh, these, you know, PR units, Protoss, Archon clouds and you just click export on each of those, right? Uh, and you can do that regardless of whether your MPQ shows any data or not because this is just a unit processor, right? I'm just processing the, the units that exist and showing them in the same way the game does. So as a result, um, it only fails if there's actually, like I think that one probably doesn't have a model, right? It only fails if there's actually not like data to load. Uh, or like this one maybe doesn't have a texture. I don't know what's up with that. Or maybe my thing can't parse it correctly. but. Um, yeah, actually, this one I think is my thing failing to parse it correctly, but that aside, does this work? I don't know if these work. Oh, there's a probe. So, I mean, you know, they've got some interesting things going on, right? That doesn't seem to work. But, I mean, generally, right? I mean, you've got, you know, like, the, all these models and things here, and they're all pretty much loading, or if they don't, you could probably figure out why. Uh, you know, Templar, Zealot. Uh, look at that, it even looks pretty cool. So, you know, I mean, generally with all of these, right, it's pretty much the entirety of StarCraft One right here, uh, pretty much all remade, and you can just open it with this tool, because this is what I spent my whole weekend doing, which I've not even, I've not published yet, and I really need to, is the concept of just this data browser, where you can browse, you know, like your cask like this, and you can also add a Warcraft install from the past, right? So I could say like, okay, let's add, uh, 126, right? And we could push OK on that. And then you're going to see it'll load the Warcraft units. Uh, we have, you know, more of our standard data layout. It's not cask, but we still see, like, you know, the Fire Lord and these other guys, right? Um, but also uh, with that, you know, we could also clear this and decide that we wanted to load, uh, you know, like uh, patch 114 or something like that, right? And then you would see, of course, in patch 114, if you go to neutral passive over here, there is no Fire Lord, right? Or you could say, well, maybe we want to load, uh, clear that, and add uh, program files x86, Warcraft 3, just the Reign of Chaos alone with no Frozen Throne. And, and once you do that, uh, barring bugs that I thought I fixed, really, I failed to load the Reign of Chaos. Well, sometimes you got to close it and reopen it if anything gets, you know, like, miscached or something like that. Uh, oh, interesting actually can't load. Oh, there's no such file. Okay, so when that happens, it brings you back to this menu because it figured out that you have a bad configuration. So it accidentally added w War3x. I'll have to fix that. Anyway, once you load Reign of Chaos, right, you can see you've got the Reign of Chaos layout with like Water Elemental was not in the special section and the special section has all the campaign units. Um, and like that even works, right? And this would give you a really convenient way to get to like Reign of Chaos building models that don't have uh, attack alternate uh, that's kind of pointless uh, you know or like owl scout that doesn't have team color particles that's a bit more meaningful or like if you wanted to have a crypt fiend who did not have burrow 
you could do this, right? And obviously, if you just go back in your Warcraft data and you clear that and you reset to defaults and it'll just load like your standard cask or whatever, uh, then you can go in here and you could load your Crypt Fiend and he's gonna have, you know, it's gonna have like Burrow, which he didn't have a moment ago, and that other one that we opened up. Um, so I was trying to give total control to the user in terms of that configurability. Uh, and that's also where if I actually directly choose Add Warcraft Install to my current install, rather than that Add Defaults button, sorry, uh, misclick there, um, it actually also choose, lets you choose language, right? So we could do like Spanish Warcraft if I had played with that in the past, um, just as you know, other options so that we don't have this problem that all these people have had that they can't use my software because of language barrier or hard-coded language information. So this is all super possible. I'm hopefully going to publish this pretty soon for you guys. And then you're j you could just tear through Project Revolution and export all their models by just literally clicking them and clicking Save. I suppose at some point I should actually probably put an Export button here so you could just directly export, but I didn't, I didn't do that yet. So yeah, there you go.